back everybody yeah we are back on beam and g again but this time it's an update because they just updated beam and g for the spring renovations update so right about now we're just gonna go through a few of the highlights of the update just to let you know what it is and also to let you know the mods have been uh basically destroyed so We'll have to wait for mods to be updated if they don't already work with the update. As well as Beam and P. We have to wait for that to be updated too before we can play Beam and P. Unless you do not have your game set to automatically update. So, enough to do. We'll go ahead and pop into uh, this and, and basically let you know all the things that they're upgrading. Well, not all the things. I have a link in the description of uh, the complete patch notes. But for now, let's just dive right into it and just cover the highlights of what comes with this new update. Well, first up, they have an update to the ETK series. It's basically a refresh. It's not as comprehensive as the typical revamps, but the team says they're dedicated to upgrading both models. So they have a new sedan. They're gonna have newer textures and materials, updated 3D models. It also includes, amongst other things, several new gauge options, interiors, new wheels. They've updated all the configurations with improved meshes and materials. They've added several new ones and revamped old models. Now, they also upgraded the ETK 800 series. It's getting a new sedan body style as well as a wide body TT Sport models. There are several new engine options and skins and a set of Ren spec parts. Now, Ren spec is the new trim level that they're adding to the game. It's like a, a luxury high-end power model. So they're gonna be Ren spec models for all of the ETK series. They're also adding a new Turbo Rabbit wide body kit, new engine options, skins, modern race steering wheel and as well Rinspec parts for a GT4 model and then now we're moving on to the openable doors now this used to be a mod and now to be part of the game for a great many of the vanilla vehicles they plan to cover all of them so they added openable doors and panels to most vehicles like the Buckle Bastion the Autobello Piccolina, the Gavril Grand Marshal, among many others. New obstacles and auto latching, and the doors can tell when they're close to something, which that's actually a really cool thing. Now, Mod Support has added a new tool at the bottom right in the repository called the Mods Manager. last but not least they upgraded the automation test track renovation as part of the update on the level sides they're happy to report the automation test track has received a fresh coat of paint they've updated and added details to the buildings and various structures revamped vegetation and updated terrains as well as asset materials to the PBR bringing automation test track in line with other maps Additionally, Johnson Valley now offers several new trials and to explore. Many smaller issues were fixed. Improvements were made to Utah, the Garage, Italy, and the Grid Map version 2. And as well with all of that, they're also adding a prototype system, Stats Tracking. Stats Tracking basically is going to be tracking the stats, how many times you spent driving a particular vehicle. They'll also be uh, support tracking their rollovers, J-turns, and all that. But it's just like a, a prototype feature, so they plan to expand it more updates later down the line. Now, they did add a couple of new missions, and they updated the missions and introduced several changes and improvements to the system. There are 18 new missions available across different maps, including Automation Test Track, East Coast, Johnson Valley, and Italy. Players now have the ability to enable automatic recording of missions attempts although this feature may impact performance so it might lag a little bit when you try to record your missions in game the mission back end code has also been improved and cleaned up allowing custom placement of police vehicles at the start of evade missions moreover ground markers can now be customized for several mission types and they made a bunch of UI uh, improvements and, and a whole bunch more it's going to be linked in the description i suggest check out the patch notes it's probably going to be a week or two before all the mods are back up in line and beam and is back online all 
Okay, after all of that, we had to pop in here and take a look at what's new. Uh, I gotta say, I like the the highlights are now a, a navy blue when you go into select parts, and there's a plus symbol as opposed to the little arrow that turns down. So that's changed in the little upgrading system here. There's definitely a lot more uh, options in this customization window than there was previously for the stock vehicles. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick little update and then uh, let's just jump on in here. All right, now now we're in. And uh, I can say the quality of the textures and, and the butt mapping of the, the, the textures interior are really of a higher quality now. They, they match that of uh, high-end mods now. Wow. I, I really like these new panels. The, the new hood and the new like trunk panel. Those are race panels. That's a race hood and it's a race trunk I have on here. And I don't know if this comes through on YouTube like that, but the seriously, the texture map on here now for the all the glass and clear things are now they're at the same level of high-end mods now. The the carbon fiber looks really good. The reflection on things like look at the hood these are race latches and it opens when you open both of them here's a crazy thing mods don't have the sound for most doors listen to this it's like a deep bass and a loud click thunk to open it like a real trunk it, 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 it's really nice Let's see how close we can get into the interior. It looks really nice. The sirens and the reflections, like the, the lighting for it, are, are pretty up to par. I don't know if they put ray tracing in here now. That's what they're supporting. And I'm not sure if it comes through on YouTube like that, but uh, the detail... Hold on, hold on. Let me fix this camera. The detail on the lighting is insane. The siren and everything, the specular on that is just right on. Oh, and the doors react to inertia and wind. I, I think if I was flooring it and pulled the hood open, it would flip open. Like, usually with mods, when you open the hood or the doors, they don't react to the wind or motion of the vehicle. Very rarely do they. Most of the time, they're just a static object that opens and it can interact with the environment, but it doesn't have any real effects like a door. This makes a good trunk slamming sound? Oh man. This is really nice. This is really nice. So now the question I have is how are the mods going to improve from this now? Because a lot of the mods were kind of at this level or a little bit higher. I mean, some mods are 4K and 8K. But, I mean, it drives really good. The sound really good. I mean, it's the ETK, so it, it, it just drives really good like a well-made sedan. Oh, the gear. Well, yeah, I would guess that the gear selecting works. I can't say much for the, the feel of the driving. It, I mean, it always drives nice. It's the ETK series. It always drives really nice. I put the siren on just to see the specular effects, and they work pretty really good, of course. Of course you crashed in BMG. Wait, wait a minute. Hey, I expected, the, I expected the rubber to be all torn up like usual. Did they improve the rubber textures as well? Let me see if we can get on the... On, Oh, I got my gears wrong. Let me let me let me get get on the grass here. Go get them get off the grass and take a look at this. It looks like the rubber on the wheels are done a lot better now. Yeah, let me get get some sunlight on on here so we can get a better look at this wheel. But it looks like the 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 deflated and deformed rubber of the wheel is now actually textured and modeled properly, instead of just being some torn stretched out texture. Look at that. The rubber is deformed and bent. It's not just a broken texture that's stretched out. That That's going to change the way crash physics work on here. At least the way they look. That's amazing. We have actually... They fixed the rubber. Alright, so we're going to pop on over here to, uh, to one of the upgraded sedan models. 
this is the the most high-end configuration that's in the menu when you just do a stock configuration this is the most high-end configuration they have so we have a newer bumper a new grill I mean it's a sedan so it's probably a whole new model based off the ETK and everything and like I said in the, in the last little segment it's looking really nice with all the texture qualities and the trunk again makes the satisfying click sound when you open the trunk now I'm guessing um, if I had better control of my camera we can get some really good views of the textures in here I mean all the doors open and and the the, the model for opening the door the little green handle seems to be size particular for what you're opening so that's nice in the trunk so I wonder now if we'll be able to, to load things into the trunk which is difficult since we don't have characters that can grab things in the game yet but it's really nice and, and like I said the doors react to to acceleration and being closed look at that I don't know if I can do that with the hood we'll see if we can uh, get the hood to close yeah, from the hydraulics and everything from a hood it doesn't do that even if you're going very fast it won't just do that so that's actually a pretty good thing they put in there I'm gonna have to readjust my seating position but this is looking really nice look the, the I like the I, I love looking at the gear selector shift when I drive so that's actually really cool the rear view mirrors this is all stock seem to be working it look look like we won't need that mod the rear view mirror mod to make the mirrors work in, in, in the world so the rear view and side view mirror seems to be recording the or at least showing the real output behind you I can't really can't get over the texture of the interior the interior for the stock cars really wasn't all that well it was just just a handful of cars that had really good textures and if they're just redoing all the textures on the vehicles, bring them up to spec, this is good. It's gonna bring a quick little crash here. Of course, the slow-mo still works. I just wanna do a little damage on these new uh, vehicles and see how the damage models work out now. It's been updated. Yeah, we, we were wall riding? Were we going that fast with this? Wow, and we're just testing it. All right, let's pull off to the side here, let's see. Yeah, it looks like on all of the models i don't know at least two so far the rubber is not just torn to shreds and stretched way over you know a, a, the, the environment it's stuck to the wheel and it's just deformed like a flat wheel should be that's i'm i'm liking it the win the window shatter i just noticed that too the, the window glass and the textures on the bumpers and everything and that is it ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. I will have a link in the description to the Spring Renovations update for BMMG patch 0 0.28. So hit that like and subscribe. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Arcane Infinity.